a couple episodes back, I said that we would be looking at some selection and iteration. Now, we looked at selection in a previous episode where we use the if-then-else to determine overtime pay. We're now going to look at iteration or looping, which is simply performing a number of steps over and over again until we're done. So, if I were to draw and quarter that, I would simply add one more decision. Are we done? No, we're not done. I've gone back to our payroll program and made yet a third version of it. This time, we are going to perform the calculations over and over again until we say that it's time to quit. Now, I'm not going to go over all of the logic of this program, but I'll show you the changes. Now, the first thing that I did was I changed our beginning input to read enter your hourly pay rate and added to that or zero to quit. Okay, now I want to put a space in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, as we move along, things stay the same until we get to this statement, the while statement. With the while statements, like the if statement, we are testing a condition. This time, our condition is, is the rate greater than zero? Remember, on our prompt up above, I said, or zero to quit. So, as long as our rate is greater than zero, we will continue. Okay? Now, to be purist, if I wanted to say not equal, I'd say it like that. But I really don't think anyone is working for a negative pay. Okay. Now, the loop consists of everything within the curly brackets. And as you can see, the rest of our program is in the curly brackets. So we're going to repeat this over and over again until we say we want to quit by typing zero. Okay. I then indented all of my statements and nothing changes until we get to the end. Now what I did was simply take our input of pay rate and repeated it at the bottom of the loop. Now if you think about that for a second, if I never type in another pay rate, I'll never quit. So once I've printed out gross, it's time to get a new pay rate because I'm doing, if you will, another employee. And so this is simply a cut and paste. The only thing I did was add this comment, iteration read. So the one at the top, the very first one, is often referred to as the priming read. Let's put that comment in. You can think of it as priming the pump. Like you're out camping and you've got one of these hand pumps and you want to drink a water. What you've got to do quite often is pour a little water into the pump and then start cranking and water will come out. But if you don't prime that pump, you won't get anything. Okay? 
Well, this is our priming read, the read we do before we enter our loop. Now, we got to keep pumping our water pump in order to get the water to flow. And that's our iteration read. Okay? So, let's take a look over here on the right. Let's run Perl pay 3. Let's calculate payroll. Enter your hourly pay rate or zero to quit. Let's test that quit part. I'm going to type in zero and our program's done. So, let's try it again. This time, we'll give it, <coughs> excuse me, a pay rate of $10 an hour. And let's say that we worked 30 hours. Our gross pay should be $300, and it is. All right, let's go back, $10 an hour, and let's say we worked 60 hours. Now that's the same input we used last time. And if you remember, our answer was 700. Let's see. Yep, 700. Okay, now let's try a negative five. It's not greater than zero, so we quit. Give this one a try, and I'll talk to you very soon.